How are you doing, folks? This is Dr. Chris Cueto, AKA The Stick Doctor, Resident Warrior Chiropractor. So, what we did, what I talked about last time with regards to your shoulder exercise for rehab was the Cobbins wand exercises, okay? So, again, that's to help with establishing your range of motion, uh, getting everything in terms of your glenohumeral joint, your shoulder to continuously move, especially from a strain, a sprain strain, an injury, or post-surgery. So part two, I'm gonna show you another type of uh, movement, stretch, and exercise that we usually do for uh, our patients, especially in the very beginning of rehab. Again, the, we're gonna first start off with what we call a towel stretch exercise. So let's say your right shoulder is the one that's the injured shoulder. So we're gonna grab one towel, like why to get this obviously at home. You're gonna put your right hand behind your back and have the towel behind your back as well, grabbing one end and you're gonna grab the other end of the towel with your other hand, with your left hand. Now, the same thing goes, just like the way we had with the wand, the right arm doesn't do any movement. The left hand does the work. All your right arm does is just grabbing on to one end of that towel. And what you're gonna do is with your left hand, or the opposite hand, or unaffected hand, you're gonna actually pull it at a 45 degree angle. Not straight up, not towards the side, but at a 45 degree angle until you feel a nice stretch into that capsule joint of your, of your shoulder, okay? You'll typically feel it right in the front or uh, top side of your shoulder. That's the stretch we want. So we're basically getting your shoulder into that passive range where we're getting into more extension and adduction. And of course, a little bit of internal rotation as well with this movement. And this typically helps a lot with any type of shoulder impingement syndrome, okay? Usually hold this for about three to five seconds at a time, sometimes 10 seconds if you get used to it. Again, same thing, about five to 10 repetitions or so. You could do about two, three reps if you like. You could do that same thing with your other shoulder also, if that's also injured or both. This is a great way of introduction or warm up into some of our exercises, okay? So the next one we're gonna do uh, is called the sleeper stretch. Now the sleeper stretch the reason why it's called a sleeper stretch is that it looks like a sleeper hold if you're lying on the ground. Traditionally, and originally, this was done on a mat or on the side. But again, if you want to be uh, consistent in terms of working at home or in the office, you may not be able to go on the, on the ground. You could definitely go against the wall. All right, so we're going to get your affected shoulder again. Let's say it's the right shoulder, and we're going to bring it at 90 degrees. We're going to flex our elbow at 90 degrees. With your opposing, opposite hand, or complementary hand, you're gonna grab your right wrist, which is the affected side or affected shoulder. And with that being said, you're gonna go ahead and just gently rotate it or pull it down, okay? Until you feel a nice stretch, until you feel the end ridge. And from here, you're gonna go ahead and notice that the uh, tension or stretch on the top and posterior back side of your glenohumeral joint. Now what this does, as we're holding it about three to five seconds, just like the towel stretch, it's meant to help stretch out the posterior capsule of your shoulder. Now, in theory, if that capsule actually is tight, it's gonna also help, it's also gonna enable your right shoulder to go internally rotate this way, which is not what we want. If it's overly internally rotated, it's gonna cause that impingement syndrome, additional sprains, as well as lack of motion. So you want that capsule to stretch. So, hence why we do the sleeper stretch, such as so. Okay, same thing, three to five second hold at a time five to 10 repetitions, one set, two sets, three sets, whichever is comfortable for you at home as we do this, all right? So we went through the towel, we went through this sleeper stretch. The next thing we're gonna go through is the isometric resistance external rotation of your shoulder. So one of the big movements we do with your shoulder rehab is external rotation of exercises. Well, let's say you don't have a band. Let's say you don't have any resistance or weights. What you can do is against the wall, such as so, you can actually apply a small amount of pressure rotating externally this way against the wall, such as so. And same thing, hold it for about three, five seconds, 10 seconds at a time, okay? One thing that you're also gonna notice when you do an isometric hold like this, you're gonna start to tighten up your core, which is great. You want your core to start uh, getting tight. Again, a good strong core helps with expression of your extremities, upper and lower as well, okay? We'll go through another video about what your core muscles are uh, at a later date or a future date. So again, here, tighten your core, tighten your glutes, tighten your back if you could, if you know how to do that. Uh, I explained it in one of my other videos. And here, go ahead and just do an isometric resistance against the wall. 
five, three, five seconds, 10 seconds at a time. All right? You want everything to act, act, start activating within your shoulder region, on your, your shoulder region. Okay? Same thing, you could also do the same thing for an internal rotation. So if you have a hard time rotating internally this way, you could also do the same thing, internally rotating your glenohumeral joint for your shoulder. So against the wall, and you're gonna go this way, isometric hold, just as so. Three to five seconds, same rule applies. The other thing that you could even try doing is also doing what we call a pec stretch against a doorway, or doorway stretch. We show this a lot for a lot of folks who also have what we call an upper cross syndrome. You're hunched over this way, that also helps create a lot of your injuries to your shoulder as well as your neck. Same thing applies to your shoulder. You could go ahead and get into, if you could tolerate it, bring your arm up against the door frame, left uh, opposite leg, let's say if your right shoulder, left leg forward then, keep your posture straight, and you could go ahead and lean forward. Don't try to bend forward at all. Keep your posture straight, lean forward to a lunge. You should feel nice stretch into your pecs too, if you could tolerate it. If you cannot tolerate it, if it's painful, this is something in which you shouldn't be doing yet. Not just yet, okay? Same thing, three to five second hold, five, ten, five to 10 times, two sets, three sets, one set, whatever is comfortable for you, whatever you can do, uh, that you can do uh, as frequently as you, as you can into your program at home, okay? So see, these are some of the basic uh, opening rehab type of work we do with the shoulder, uh, with the shoulder roll. We went over the Codman's uh, wand last time, now these are all different types of stretch movements that you can start doing uh, for yourself at home. Uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to click down into our website down our link at www.heraldsquare.com, excuse me, heraldsquarechiropractic.com. Uh, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe into our channel. Uh, this is Dr. Chris Quaid again, aka The Stick Doc, and we'll see you soon.